Ability Center's All Squats Challenge. Hey everyone, welcome to your All Squats Challenge. My name is Sam and the lovely Shannon is joining for our seated exercises. We are doing 100 squats today. No, you didn't misunderstand me. I did say 100. The cool thing is we are gonna be breaking it down into 10 different variations. So 10 squats times 10. You can pick your level, you can pick your variation wherever you're at. And if you're not quite at 100 yet, you're gonna do what you can. Then you can come back another day, click on the video and try it again. That's why it's called the challenge. So, are you ready? Okay, we gotta get warmed up first. So you don't need anything, you don't need weights, you do need water, just make sure you can take breaks as you need to. And I'm gonna use a chair for the first bit of my warm up, just for some support. You can use a wall or a countertop. All right, let's do this first warm up move. So standing up nice and tall, I'm gonna have my hand resting on the chair. I'm going to lift my left foot off the floor, swing my left leg forward, and then swing it behind me. So I'm gonna continue swinging that leg. Shannon is going to extend her left leg. She's sitting up nice and tall, a little forward in her chair. Heel is touching, and she's going to lift that leg, bring that heel back down, and then continue. Lift and heel back down. All right, let's do it. 20 seconds on this one side. Swinging back and forth, making sure Standing up nice and tall, focus forward. Shannon is sitting nice and tall as she's lifting that leg up off the floor. Ooh, back and forth, you got it. Last few seconds. Three, two, and one. So we're gonna switch to the other side. I'm switching to the other side of my chair. Now resting my left hand and I'm gonna be working my right leg. Shannon's gonna extend that right leg heel touching and she's going to lift and then bring it back down. Let's do it, leg swings. My right leg is swinging forward and then swinging back. Just listening to your body here too, smaller movements. You need to change that range of motion. Keep that head and chest up. A few more. Three, two, and last one. Good job. Okay, I'm gonna move this chair just out of the way, give myself a little bit of room. I'm gonna do some knee pulls. So from standing, I just want you to lift your knee up towards your chest, wrap your hands around it and squeeze. From seated, Shannon's gonna be doing the same thing, lifting her knee up towards her chest, wrapping her hands around and squeezing, and then alternating. So I wanna make sure we check our posture so we're not leaning forward, right? Nice and tall, head and chest up, and just alternating. Starting to warm everything up. Back, the back, those glutes, those hips. Keeping those feet flexed as we draw that knee to our chest. Last three, two, and one. Good. Okay, squat with an alternating toe reach. So I'm gonna have my feet about shoulder width apart. I'm gonna come down into a squat. Head and chest up, knees behind my toes. As I come up to standing, I'm gonna reach opposite hand to opposite foot. So my leg is coming up and hand coming to my toes. Shannon is gonna hinge forward and then come back up to a seated position and then raise her leg opposite hand to opposite foot. All right, let's do it. Squat and then that toe touch. Opposite hand to opposite foot. Squat or hinge forward if you're seated. Keep a little bend in that knee as you add that leg raise. Three, two, and last one. All right, we're definitely gonna be using our hips when we're squatting, so we wanna do some hip openers. 
So, very simple, and if you need to, you can use your chair for support or your wall or your countertop, but from standing, I'm going to raise my knee and then open my leg up to the side, come back, and then foot coming back down. So raise my knee, open that leg to the side, close, and bring my foot back down. From seated, Shannon's going to be lifting her knee up towards her chest, swinging that leg open to the side, bringing that leg back to center, foot coming down. So that's our seated hip openers. All right, we ready? 20 seconds. From standing, knee up, and circle that leg and open one at a time. Opening up those hips. Again, smaller movements. If you feel like those tips, hips are tight, those tips, those hips. <laughs> Shannon's lifting that knee up, swinging that leg open to the side, bringing the leg back to center and foot down. One on either side. Three, two, and one. All right, warm up done. Lower body is feeling pretty warm, ready to go. So let's do this. 100 squats, are you ready? <laughs> Not sure? All right, all the squats, let's do this. First move. Basic squats, we have 10. So from seated, Shannon is going to be sitting up nice and tall, lifting up her knee towards her chest, extend her leg, bring her leg back in and foot back down. That's one squat. If you want to add a little intensity to this workout, you can always add dumbbells. So she would have them just above her knees and I would have them at my sides. But we're gonna do this all body weight today. So from standing, I'm gonna have my feet shoulder width apart, push my butt back, have my head and chest up, coming into kind of that seated position, head and chest up, come up and drive my weight into my heels. We have 10, are you ready? 10 seated or 10 standing, you choose, let's do it. That's one. Two. Three. Four. You can choose the depth of your squat for intensity, five. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, first one done. Awesome, right? First set done. So, second set, moving into plie squats. So, plie squats, we're gonna have our feet a little wider than shoulder width. Toy toes are pointing out. Your toes, your toys. Sitting up nice and tall, right? From standing, I'm going to sink down, making sure my knees stay behind my toes, head and chest are up, and then again, coming up and driving the weight into my heels. Shannon is going to have that nice wide stance, lift one leg at a time, knee coming up on an angle, foot coming back down, and then she's gonna squeeze her glutes and then alternate sides. All right, you ready? Let's do it. 10, plie squats. Two. These can feel a little awkward. Three. So just careful, you're listening to your range of motion and only going deep as your body tells you to go. Three. Driving the weight into the heels. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Shannon is lifting that knee. And then as the foot comes back in, she's adding a boot squeeze. That was eight. Nine. And 10. Number two, done. That's 20 so far. <laughs> Counting them down. Number three, squats with side lifts. So we'll start off with our seated chair, with our seated exercise. So we're gonna bring, Shannon's gonna bring her knee up, extend her leg, swing that leg open, bring that leg back and foot coming back down. That's one, all right? From standing, I'm gonna come into that squat, head and chest are up. As I come up, part way, a little bend left of my knees, I'm going to lift that leg to the side. Then I'm gonna alternate on the next squat. All right, ready? We have 10, let's do it. Squats with that side raise. That's two, three, and again, adding intensity, we can go a little deeper into that squat. Or from seated, 
Shannon can hold that leg up a little bit longer. Got seven, eight, nine, and 10. Our next move is curtsy squats. So for our standing, we're going to take one leg, step behind on an angle, sinking down into that squat position, head and chest up, and then coming back up, feet together, repeat on the other side. From seated, Shannon's going to lift that knee up, foot coming off the floor, swing that leg open, bring the leg back in and foot back down. And she's gonna alternate on the other side. All right, let's do this. 10 skirt curtsy squats, <laughs> seated or standing. That's one. That's two. Three. Take time, sink down, feel that squat. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, last one, and 10. Nice work. Okay, we're almost halfway. You're feeling it, right? Getting a little warm. <laughs> Definitely feeling those squats. So halfway mark, we are at number five. We're gonna be doing a squat with a reverse lift. So I'm gonna come down into feet are gonna be shoulder width apart, sinking down into that squat, head and chest up, sticking that butt out as I come up to standing, leaving a little bend in my knee, lifting my foot off the floor and raising my leg to the back, coming back and repeating. So squat, lift, rear leg raise. From seated, Shannon's going to lift her one knee up, bring her foot back down, tap under her chair, and then squeeze her glutes, repeating on the other side. Knee up, tap the foot under the chair, and then squeeze the glutes. We have 10, let's do it. 10 squats with a rear leg raise. Straight back, not bending at the knee with that leg raise from standing, that's two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. All right. How you feeling? All right. <laughs> Are you being honest with me? Are you sure? All right. She's still here, so we're doing all right. Number six, we are moving into a three pulse. I really like this one. So feet are shoulder width apart from standing. I'm gonna push my bum back, sinking down into that squat, head and chest up, pulsing for three, and then coming back up to standing. From seated, Shannon is going to lift her knee up, foot coming off the floor, pulse for one, two, three, so little lifts and then extend that leg back in and down. Other side, pulse for one, two, three, extend that leg back in and down. 10, let's go. Holding that for three pulses, then back up to standing. Three pulses, leg extension from seated, that's two. Three, four, five, knees should be behind the toes, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Finish the three pulses. Yeah, <laughs> definitely getting a lot warmer as we go. Number seven, squat with alternating kicks. So from seated, Chan is going to sit up nice and tall, and she need to move a little bit forward in her chair for this. She's actually going to hinge forward at her hips come back up to a seated position and then add that alternating kick. She's gonna leave a little bit of a bend in her knee and force that kick coming from the heel. All right, from seated or from standing, I should say, squat, come up and add that kick. We have 10, let's do it. 10 squats with alternating kicks, that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, last one, 10. All right, number eight, side squats. Come on, we can do this. We've already done 70, 30 more to go. We're in it together. Starting with our feet together. If you're standing, I want you to step up nice and wide, a little wider than shoulder width here. Pushing that butt back, head and chest up. Come back up to standing, feet together. Repeat on the other side. From seated, Shannon is going to lift her knee straight up, put that foot back down, and then she's going to tap to the side, times two. Working both sides, alternating knee up, tap to the side, times two. Let's do it. Side squats, times 10. Start with those feet together, sink back, and step out into that squat. That's two. Three, four, five, six, head and chest up, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, let's do it. Number nine, moving on to double ski squats. Another one of my favorites. Feet are just a couple inches apart. So a little bit of a narrower squat. I'm going to push my butt back. Do a little squat pulse times two and then come up to standing so my legs or my feet are staying in that same position just a few inches apart from seated shannon is going to do a two knee lift so a double lift that knee pulse times two foot back down squeeze those glutes so knee lift times two foot back down glute squeeze let's do this ski squat feet a couple inches apart and begin pulse times two back up to standing that's one two three four check those knees it should be behind the toes five six seven eight nine and ten okay generating a little heat <laughs> legs and glutes a little warm last one number 10 which means we are hitting that 100 point right so our last one save the best for last jump squats so from seated shannon's going to have her legs a little wider here she's going to hinge at her hips reach her hands down between her knees as she comes up to sit up tall she's going to reach up to the ceiling and raise one knee at a time hinge forward reach down sit up knee up and arms up a jump squat which means I'm gonna come down to a squat and then add a hop less intensity lift my heels instead of a hop we have 10 let's do it last set 10 jump squats seated or standing one two three four five less intensity lifting those heels no hop six seven eight nine and ten Woo! That's it. we did it 100 all done nice work all right if you weren't able to complete the 100 today come back and try it again you got this we believe in you now it's time to cool down and stretch First stretch, we're gonna do our hamstrings. So we're gonna start from seated. Shannon's going to extend her left leg out, resting in her heel. She's gonna hinge at her hips and then rest her hands on the side that she's not stretching. I'm gonna do the same from standing, extending my left leg, toes are up, hinging at my hips and resting my hands on the other leg. We're gonna hold these for 20 seconds, keeping our head and our chest up. Ooh. Hamstrings are a little tight today, just slightly. Whew. Anybody who knows me, I always have tight hamstrings. So Whew. hold on for three, two, and one. Let's switch it to the other side. Extending, toes are up to the ceiling, hinging at our hips, whether we're seated or standing, resting on that other side. You got it, 20 seconds. Don't forget to breathe. Sounds silly to say, but you can kind of get caught up in whatever you're doing in your workout and forget. <laughs> Hold on for three, two, and one. Good. Just stand up for a second, shake those legs out, 
So let's do the opposite muscle, the quads, the front of the legs. So from standing, I'm gonna actually take my hand and grab onto the back of my foot, pulling my heel towards my butt. My knee is pointed directly down. I can raise my hand in front of me for balance, hang onto a chair or a wall. But from seated, Shannon's gonna tap that left foot underneath the chair, knee pointing down, hands on either side of the chair, leaning back slightly till she gets that pull in that quad muscle. All right, let's do this. Just really being aware that that stretch should never be painful. You just wanna feel a little gentle pull, a tug, a little bit of discomfort, never pain. A few more seconds. For three, two, and one. Shake that leg out. Okay, same side. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna hip flexor on that one side. So I'm gonna take my ankle and cross it at my knee. Push my butt back as if I'm sitting in a chair, head and chest up. From seated, Shannon is actually going to cross ankle to ankle and begin 20 seconds. Now, from seated, you could also bring your ankle up to your knee. Shannon has an injury on that side, so she, for range of motion, is going to cross at her ankles. And again, wall or chair for support here if you'd like. For three, two, and one. Whew. Okay, we are going to actually move on to the other side. So, what are we starting with? Hamstrings, nope, hamstrings. <laughs> so, hamstrings again. Extend that leg, working the right leg this time. Toes are up, hinging at our hips, and keeping that head and chest up 20 seconds, stretching out those hamstrings. Lots of big muscles being used whenever you're doing those lower body workouts. So, so important to remember to stretch. And a hold for three, two, and one. Okay, moving back to that quad stretch again. So Shannon's gonna tap her foot under her chair. Knee is pointing down. Hands on either side of the chair, leaning back slightly till she gets that stretch. I'm gonna take the top of my foot, pull that heel towards my butt, and knee pointing down arm can be raised or extended from the shoulder for a little balance Again, hanging on to a chair or a wall not a friend because you will pull them over I may or may have not have done that before <laughs> three two and one okay same side finishing up with the hip flexor stretch so ankle crossing at the knee and Shannon's range of motion is good on this side so from seated she's going to cross ankle at the knee but you can still do the ankles if you want from seated I'm going to push that butt back head and chest up and Shannon's hinging forward just slightly pushing on the outside of her knee 20 seconds stretching out that hip flexor still breathing Hanging on for three, two, and one. One final stretch, and we're gonna be alternating sides with this one. So this is great for opening up the hamstrings. It's a little work on the glutes and a little stretch on that upper body as well. So we're gonna do our feet a little wider than shoulder width from seated and from standing. The hinge forward at our hips. And what I want you to do is have a flat back. So that means we're thinking about drawing our shoulder blades together then we're going to extend our arms from our shoulders, palms are facing down. So Shannon is mimicking the exact same movement from seated, but what we're going to do is I'm going to take my right hand, reach it down between my feet, Shannon's going to go between her knees, then my left arm is going to open up towards the ceiling and my head and chest follow. And we're going to hold that just for a couple of seconds. release come back to that flat back arms extended from your shoulders palms facing down we're going to switch to the other side left arm reaching down in between the feet or the knees for less intensity and the right arm opens up towards the ceiling head and chest follow
Get those nice deep inhale coming in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Relax. I want you just to let those arms swing and hang loose. So fingertips and arms are just dangling down towards the floor. And we're going to slowly round our back and coming back up to standing because you are finished your cool down and your stretch. Thanks so much for joining us today for our lower body cool down and stretch. Stay well. Ability Centers All Squats Challenge.